and to the people of the United States of America. Cheers. The relationship between Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and former U.S. President Barack Obama was so comfortable that it was often referred to as a bromance. We're actually closer than friends. We're more like siblings, really. The pair of left-leaning politicians saw eye-to-eye -eye on major issues, favoring global solutions to challenges with trade, immigration, climate change. Not so much with conservative Donald Trump. In his inauguration speech, the new U.S. president made clear his presidency would be different. From this day forward, it's going to be only America first. America first. Trump is deeply unpopular with most Canadians, but response to his vow to rip up the North American Free Trade Agreement, or NAFTA, has been mixed. Thank you. It was highly controversial in Canada when it was signed more than 24 years ago, but today is seen by many as a boon to the Canadian economy. So days ago, Trudeau said he intends to come to Washington, seeking to press for a continued smooth flow of uh, goods and services and people uh, back and forth across our border, uh, reinforcing the uh, uh, deep connections and friendship between Canada and the United States. But some economists in Canada see promise in Trump's NAFTA threat. As a top trading partner, they say a new deal could be struck in Canada's favor. There you go. There Trudeau you go. and Trump also have starkly differing views on immigration. Canada has welcomed tens of thousands of Syrian refugees, embracing diversity after its own version of extreme vetting. Trump may draft new executive actions to halt immigration from seven Muslim-majority nations, including Syria. I think they have to convince the United States that they can have a sovereign, distinct policy, but one that is equally vigilant against keeping bad guys out. President Trump is also expected to press Trudeau to increase defense spending in order to help shore up the NATO alliance. But officially, both governments say this visit is not about focusing on differences, but instead on strengthening areas of common interest between North American neighbors. Kimberly Helkett, Al Jazeera, Washington.